Welcome back to another pristine production here, and I am your host, mixing engineer Andrew Weber, and a producer, sound designer, a musician, a composer. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And uh, also remember, you can uh, join in our competition, uh, which uh, um, I'm going to be doing uh, mix and master contests, uh, which you can. Send me uh, your best mix song, and when we hit a, uh, 300 subscribers, I'm going to be naming the winner. The first prize winner is going to be getting a Waves Complete 10 2019, and second uh, place winner is going to be getting a uh, copy of the MPC uh, drum kit pack. And also be sure to, to um, take part in my new show, uh, Producers Village, which you can uh, send me your stems and let me know you're challenging with the mix, and I can do a live stream and show you how you can fix the solution. And uh, take a look also on my new uh, composition I did. But today we're gonna be uh, uh, doing something new here. And uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, cinematic scoring tips. You know, I've, I've lately got into a little bit of uh, um, cinematic uh, scoring for films, you know, um, string parts and that stuff. And I, I did one um, inspired by the Hunger Games. It's called Last Stand, the score Hunger Games. I want you to check out that composition there. So I'm going to be talking about how uh, you get that cinematic sound and uh, how you can uh, possibly uh, be a great um, scoring producer. Maybe somebody hits you up to make some uh, soundtrack for some games. And uh, what I'm uh, using, uh, I'm, I'm not doing a commercial here. But what I'm using is a very great uh, instrument here. It's from um, Project Sam. It's called uh, Symphobia 2. And you can do a lot of stuff with this thing here. And it has a different parts. I won't, I won't jump into everything. It has different parts of the strings here that you can mess around with. You can play around with the different options here uh, to get you the sound you want, you know, so you can play a part here. can play your cinematic stuff and um, I'm using part one and part two um, they sound great they give you that cinematic feel so let me play a little bit of what I compose here and here we go little bit of like a hip-hop thing going with some cinematic stuff here so the first part I, I did the string here you got when you're cinematic doing scoring for film um, I'm a musician so I, I pretty much understand the basics um, you have to have a good um, scoring just like you're writing a song uh, with the orchestra you want to tell the story with the different parts of the string. You want to have a breakdown, you know. Um, so, like uh, like this track here, I wanted to sound a little bit, uh, you know, something like close to like the Hunger Games. They have some acoustic guitar uh, coming in, and then uh, I have uh, the uh, trumpets. So I'm not going. I'm going to be dancing around in the key of B minor here. So I want to lay that down. I come up with a nice melody lead. So 
so when I'm um, playing the guitar here, and this uh, lead sound here is going with the flow. goes again so that's what I'm doing there and then the second string here let me let me solo this part here so I'm doing uh, some sustained string here along with the first one here strings and woodwinds I, I, I have it set to a high uh, sordinos with winds so it's following it's complementing the first um, melody part and it sounds something like this so when it hits the second time on the melody you hear the strings come in So it's like you're you're doing a separate uh, what you call articulation here. I, I'm playing uh, like you know. If I know the first song was, so I'm playing on the high notes here. Just sustaining the keys there, and then I have this sound right here. That's adding some 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 body. Uh, to the arrangement here, so I'll play it back. So I want that, bum, bum, da, 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 bum. you know, I want that. It's like I'm doing a bass drum pattern here. Then I have this thing here, um, ear from my native instruments. I bounce it down to the wave. And it has this sound here. It's like an organic drum. Then I'm using the heaviosity here from uh, Native Instruments here to add some more organic loops here. So it's going to be something like, uh, let, me, let me play it here. There it is. So I have a little bit of action to it, you know, and, and I can pick different ones. And then I come down to the hits. Which I'm using um, from the same symphobia here. And there's a lot of hits you can use. Depending on, you know, if you want to do an Arkham Knight kind of thing. So I'm using the hits here to create some more spread in the mix. Almost like a, a Call of Duty kind of thing. Then I have a second hit here. A little bit more heavier with more cymbals there and then i come down to the bass which i'm doing adding some body to the strings here so that goes along with the top and then of course i want that um Apocalypse sound. If I can turn the slider here. I can turn up the uh, velocity. You know. So I'm going to slide that in here with the rest of the track here. I'm going to raise the volume here so it creates that more epic kind of sound. So let's play the tune here.
here we go. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, since I did the lead with, ta 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 ta, right? I do that. So what I did, I used the bass here to to travel up. So I'm doing a similar uh, melody to what I did first with um, this one up here. You know, and uh, of course um, I have the guitar here and uh, I have a little bit of a woodwinds um, thing going on here. Let me um, solo this right here. So what this is doing, this is this is traveling um, back, right? So it yeah. So it, uh, I'm using that to travel, uh, carry the strings back. So when I play everything together, you get that cinematic feel. I can go at any time and I can adjust um, I can adjust the different parts of the strings um, to the different play modes here Symphobia to me is one of the best so I choose that one there uh, I'm currently I have um, the lookout project Sam uh, essential orchestral uh, uh, tools as well so if I want I could switch the staccato here and I could have that going there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. And um, same I can do with the string. Uh, Symphobia is pretty easy and it's ridiculous, ridiculously fast. It loads very fast. I'm using it on Contact 6. Um, let's say if I wanted to change from... From that, I wanted to go to a more staccato feel. I can switch, switch to staccato right here. And I have that. So I went from a legato to a staccato action sound. Go back to the legato. So it's, it's very easy, guys. So... Yeah, I wanted to leave that with you, man. And, uh, you know, hit me up. Subscribe to my page. And uh, be sure to check out some, some of my compositions. I did a Resident Evil Trap Hive beat there as well. And let me know if um, if you want me to master stuff for you. Um, I charge reasonable, reasonable rates. And uh, on each of these strings, I'm running the SSL, doing a little bit of EQ, rolling off a little bit of low end, you know. Um gradually mixing as i go along so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven um it doesn't take a lot to make it sound like an orchestral you, you just gotta make sure you come up with good melodies and, and that stuff i could have rather than this i could have done something like um You know, I could come up with like some Luke Skywalker stuff. And pretty much when I hit about three, five, six pieces, it's already coming together. So, yeah, I, I love I love getting into this. You know, I, I love music. And I, I definitely think doing film stuff is another level. I can combine this stuff with other elements. So, hit me up, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.